In this video, I'll be breaking down exactly how to start a brand new local SEO strategy. You're going to learn how to figure out what people are searching for on the way to your business, how to optimize your website, how to get your Google business profile showing up in that coveted map pack, how to track all of your results, and we'll even dive deep in this secret thing that's actually making your competitors rank higher than you right now. Now, so if you have a service business that's struggling to get leads online and you've never done local SEO before, or you just need a little bit of help, then let's dig right in. Now, if you're just getting started with your SEO, then the first thing you have to do is something called keyword research. If you've never heard of that phrase before, or you're not really sure what it means, it means figuring out all the things that people are searching for on the way to your business. Now, since you're a service based business owner, what you probably want to look up are all the services that you offer. Now, in this example, I'm going to try to do SEO for my agency. But you know, if you're a general contractor, then you're going to want to look up things like kitchen remodel, bathroom remodel, you know, and if you're say a chiropractor, you're going to look up things like chiropractor, massage therapy, laser therapy, whatever you offer at your clinic. Now, the tool we're going to use today is called SEMrush. And it's typically a paid tool, but you can get a free account and you get 10 actions per day. So be careful to not overuse those actions. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So stick with me. Okay, we're just going to focus on getting your primary keyword today. So let's hop into SEMrush. So it should look something like this. So just go ahead and click sign up. And you can just continue with Google, it'll ask you a couple questions, just try to skip what you can and just move ahead and you should be on this screen. So the tool we're going to be using today is called the keyword magic tool. Now, if you're pretty sure you know what your primary keyword is, because it's something like kitchen remodel, then you can probably just enter it in here. If you're not sure, then you should go to Google and look up Ahrefs keyword generator. Ahrefs is one of SEMrush's competitors. They have a free tool right here. And you can enter whatever it is you're trying to search for, like kitchen remodel. And what it should give you is some ideas. We always like when we see searches that say near me, because that gives us an indication that it has local intent. Remember, your business that serves local customers, that's why you're on this channel. And so we want to look for searches like that. So if we go back to SEMrush and we search for kitchen remodel again, just to verify our search. And sure enough, there's kitchen remodeling near me above kitchen remodel near me. Notice that. So maybe kitchen remodeling is what we're actually going to want to search. Now, I would recommend swapping out near me with your city and your state, especially if you're in at least a suburb, like over 100,000 people, there should be some search traffic for your keyword unless you do something very unique. Now, my example, let's say I want to target SEO, but I don't know what the right keyword is. So I'm going to try search engine optimization. And I see there's a lot of stuff that includes SEO. So let's look up SEO. Now we're also getting some people's names, but we're starting to get SEO services, SEO agency, a lot of search traffic here. So now we can actually type in our city and our state. Ah, there we go. SEO Bend, Oregon, a volume of 210. That's pretty good. Let's click on that. This brings up the keyword overview. Look at that. Now we can get really hung up on the numbers like keyword difficulty, CPC, blah, blah, blah. Don't get hung up on the numbers. Just pick the one with the most volume and move forward with that. Now you're not done yet. You want to repeat this process for each one of the services that you offer. Now remember, you only get 10 actions. So be careful. Now if you run out of actions, and you just want to use a free keyword research tool, Google Keyword Planner, which I have a whole video about right here is really good, simple to use, I encourage you to dig in because you can geofence your searches. Uh, and it's just really helpful when you're trying to dial and all the keywords for all of your services. But right now we really just want our primary keywords. So we're pretty sure it's SEO Bend Oregon. So what we want to do is go to our website and we want to optimize the on page SEO. Now when we're optimizing the on page SEO, it's really important that we focus on what I like to call and I don't think anybody else calls them these but I like to call them the SEO hotspots. This is your SEO title, your permalink, your h1, your meta description, and the body copy. Now, in case you're not familiar with these things, let's scroll down here. And let's look at these pages here. So this company then can designs whoever they are, they seem to be dominating the search results taking the first two spots right now. Now the blue link is the SEO title. And what's below that is the meta description. Now, I should say that's not always the case, Google will replace these with whatever they want. These are actually not the SEO title meta description, I'm gonna show you how to check that for sure in just a second. Now when you open a page, typically the text that's up at the top is the h1 that would be what the search engines expect. And it would probably be bad practice to not do that. So in this case, the h1 is local SEO company in Bend, Oregon. Now the permalink is the back half of the link after the dot com slash. And so in this case, it's SEO dash Ben dash Oregon. And so whoever this company is, is really trying to dial in their SEO, and it probably has something to do with why they're ranking first for this keyword. Now, if you want to double check the SEO title and the meta description, the SEO title also shows 
shows up in the tab right here. So you can always check there or you can get a Chrome extension like detailed Chrome extension. If you want to know what the SEO title is, that's right here. The meta description is right here and the headings are down here. You want to have a nice flow. See how those are kind of flowing from H1 to H2 to H3 and then back out. The H1 right here is the one that's probably the most important. And then throughout the page, what you want to do is you want to try to include your keyword, which in this case is probably SEO. Bend, Oregon, throughout the page at a rate of about one to 2%. This is called the keyword density. And I'm not gonna do this manually. So I'm gonna use a tool. Just Google check SERP keyword density. It should be the first thing that pops up. If you already have a live page, you can just paste the link in here. If you're working on the copy in real time, you can go to this text input box and paste it in there. But we already have a live page. And it'll give you one word, two word, and three word keywords. Now for one word, we're actually kind of high on SEO and we're at 1% for Ben. So that's pretty good. And then when we get to two word, local SEO actually only shows up at about 0.8%. So we could even potentially go a little bit higher. Now this is just about relevancy. SEO comes down to two things, relevancy and authority. We'll get back to authority later. But the relevancy piece is telling Google what you do and where you do it when it comes to local SEO. Now, we didn't talk anything about design or conversions or anything like that. Now, if you really, really want to dive deep on that, then check out this video where I break down the perfect on-page SEO strategy. That's a good level up after this video. But now you at least know the basics. In case you're wondering how to change these settings, it varies greatly depending on the website builder that you're using. If you're using WordPress, you're probably using a WordPress plugin. And by the way, I have a video on WordPress plugin setups right here. If you're using Squarespace, I have another video that you can check out. Or if you're using something else, you can just Google like Webflow SEO settings and they'll tell you where they're at and you can just follow the strategies that I showed you in that other video. So that's on-page SEO, but you might've noticed when we actually search for that term, the first thing that showed up wasn't the blue links. The first thing that showed up were the ads, but the click-through rate on ads, which means the amount of people that see this and then click on it, it's actually really low, usually 2% or less. But the most, the most amount of clicks pops up right here in what I like to call the map pack. The map pack is related to the Google business profile. This used to be called Google My Business. You really, really, really want to make sure that you have your Google business profile optimized and that you're managing it and getting a steady stream of reviews. Now you might be wondering, man, this then can design, they're so good here. Why are they showing up lower down here? Well, there's a couple reasons. Maybe one, they're lagging behind in reviews. They should be collecting a lot more reviews. I mean, they give out free information all the time on YouTube. You think that they'd be getting more reviews, maybe from some of their loyal subscribers. I don't know. But also this algorithm has a lot to do with proximity to the searcher. There's a chance that the other two businesses that it's serving up above then can designs are just a little bit closer, which shouldn't be the case because we may or may not be standing on top of then can designs worldwide headquarters, but I digress. To make sure your Google business profile is optimized, the first thing you wanna do is just Google my space business. Don't Google my space business because my space is nothing anymore, is it? So it should look something like this and just click on view profile. And this is what the back end of your Google business profile looks like. When it comes to importance, as a small business owner, you wanna make sure that you're accurately representing your business. Now, to be able to say then can designs been web design and SEO, this company did have to file a DBA. And that actually can be a helpful tactic for SEO. So if you wanna know how to file a DBA for your business to help you show up a little bit higher, uh -huh. you definitely want to check out the video because you got to do it right. Now below that is a massively, massively important section to show up higher on Google and it's putting all of your business categories in. Now you notice this business's uh, primary category is website designer because they started off doing just websites, but they're also an internet marketing service, which is what SEO is behind the scenes. Oh shoot, you can add chat now. Now, something that's really cool about the Google business profile is Google's often integrating new features. And so if you look right now, they actually just added a new chat feature here in the last couple months. And so you can either hook up WhatsApp or just text messages. And so shoot, why not? Let's add it there. And who knows, maybe if you text that number because you're struggling with your SEO, you might get a response, <laughs> but don't call me because I had too many people call me the last time. And so like text, don't call. Okay, the last time I showed that number, there was a lot of phone calls. Just. Just text, okay? It's a lot easier to respond to. Now the rest of these don't influence ranking a ton, but the thing that will is getting more reviews. So make sure you click on that button. 
copy this link or now you can right click on this and save that image and post it somewhere in your business if you have a physical location. But it's really important to get a steady stream of high quality reviews where people not only mention your services, but also location you provided those services, especially if you're a home service provider. I know a lot of you guys and gals are watching these videos out there. Be sure to check out this video where I actually give away the review getting script that we use at my SEO agency. You're going to definitely want to check out that video. And the last thing that you can do, which we've actually seen some benefits from are these little updates. Now you don't have to do updates all the time, but you know, you just add an image in here and put some text and then link back to that page that you were optimizing. All right. And the AI tools are good enough now to really help you with this, especially if you're using one of the newer models. My real strategy here is to just post consistently, maybe once per week. This isn't Instagram, like once per week. And I'm mentioning all the services that we offer. And once I get done with that, I loop back around. Google is integrating more and more AI. They're going to pull from their primary data first. How do you know that, Sam? I don't actually know that, but here's the thing. When it comes to data, primary data is always cheaper to access than external data. Google has this stuff stored on their servers, so why wouldn't they reference that first? So don't try to just feed it the worst AI slot possible, but try to give it good information about the services that you actually provide, and that might be beneficial in the back half of 2025. Now, if you run into any troubles getting your GBP set up, I got two videos for you to check out after this. Number one is this one, it's just about 50 minutes long, but I totally break down the whole GBP optimization process step by step, okay? So if you need to get some handholding, go check out that video. It's getting a ton of views right now. It's blowing up. And the other thing that might happen is you might get stuck on the video verification step. If that's happening, then check out this video. Thousands of people have watched this video and dozens have reached back out to me and said, finally, I got a video that helped me get through the video verification steps. And this is particularly helpful if you're a home-based business. A lot of home service providers don't need a physical location, so they just work from their home. Hey, guess what? That's what I do. You can still rank from your home, but you're actually supposed to have your address hidden and there's certain steps you need to follow. So go ahead and check out that video we just linked so that way you can get your profile verified. Now I'm about to reveal the thing that's actually going to get you to rank higher over time. But before I tell you that, I have to remind you that if you're not measuring any of this, then that's not very helpful. Now there's some really cool tools out there but they usually cost money. Now, of course, you could just Google stuff and take screenshots and just kind of keep track in a spreadsheet. That's fine. One tool that I found massively helpful for people that are just getting started out is called SERPFOX, so S-E-R-P-F-O-X.com. If you look, here are their pricing plans. So for $12 per month, you can track 100 keywords. Trust me, that's pretty much all you're gonna need if you're just trying to track your own keywords. However, if you click that left arrow, you can track 10 keywords for free. That's massively helpful. If you just target your primary keywords for all of your services, you'll be able to do that here. So this is super awesome, especially if you're just getting started out. The big thing is that SerpFox is going to give you a graph so you can watch the trend of your rankings over time. And so some days you'll be ranking first and then second and then first and then third and then second and then first. And so it's important to have a graph so that way you can see that trend and you don't lose your mind. You're like, why did I go from first to third? Oh, that's just what it looks like. Now, another thing that's important is to check where your GBP is ranking in that map pack. Now, unfortunately, I haven't found a tool that's free for that. I think Local Falcon's the best one out there. And for $25 per month, you'll get plenty of credits. And what you'll do is you'll get this little geo grid, which is super, super cool. By the way, if you want a free geo grid, just leave a comment below and I'll figure out a way to get a hold of you. And I'll send you one geo grid for one keyword. Because last time I did that, somebody asked for a lot. Just one, just one, okay? It takes up my credits, but I want to help you out, okay? So leave that comment below. We'll, we'll get you a GeoGrid, I promise. Okay, so now you're tracking your results. It, it would be helpful to start tracking before you make any changes to your website or your Google business profile, but, but the videos get less engagement if I talk about tracking first. So now you know how to get the results, you know how to track the results, but how do you get results over time? Well, earlier in the video, I mentioned that SEO comes down to two things, relevancy and authority. Relevancy tells Google what you do and where you do it. Authority is what gets you to rank over time and authority has to do with backlinks, locally relevant backlinks and industry relevant backlinks. Backlink is when one website points back to your website. It's that simple. And I usually don't recommend that beginners get involved with backlinks, but if you're feeling spicy, I encourage you to check out this video where I break down my entire backlink strategy. It's a little bit more advanced, but I think you might be ready to handle it. So there you have it. Your service-based business is now on the right track to start dominating the search results in 2025. If you got hung up on some sort of step somewhere, if you're like, Sam, I you 
didn't do a good enough job explaining how exactly do I do this. I can probably point you to one of my other videos or I'll sit down and I'll write a response. I respond to every one of my comments that's not AI spam. If you found anything in this video helpful, I encourage you to hit that like button because it helps the video go out to other small business owners that are probably not your competitors. And it's a great way to give back to the channel. So I encourage you to hit that like button. And if you want more local SEO videos every week, well, you know what to do. I'll catch you in the next one.